Hi everyone, today we are reading chapter 6, Chestnut Street, Five Things Easier to Do Than Simeon's and Kenzie's Secret Handshake. So these are the five comprehension questions for chapter 6. Number one, state two examples of injuries Kenzie has received due to the crowded hallways and his short height. So what are two examples of his injuries that he received due to the crowded hallways and his short height? Number two, describe the image of Kenzie and Simeon when they get in trouble in the hallway. So what are you visualizing in your head when, you, when they get in trouble in the ha hallway? Describe what you see. Describe the image you see when they get in trouble in the hallway for number two. Number three, explain why Simeon and Kenzie feel that they can let loose in their neighborhood. Explain why they feel like they can be free in their neighborhood, let loose. Number four, state the word that comes after the end of every handshake between Kenny and Simeon. Kenzie and Simeon. A little typo. And number five, summarize the wish Kenzie made at the end of the chapter. So you do not have to put it word for word. You are summarizing the wish that Kenzie made at the end of the chapter. And just a refresher again to write a summary. Who was involved? So Kenzie, what happened? What was, what was the wish? When did it happen? Where did it happen? And why did it happen? Summarize the wish that Kenzie made at the end of the chapter. Just a little review on inferencing before we go into our vocabulary words for the week. Um, an inference is using your background knowledge and clues from the text to make an inference. Um, you're gaining a better, by making an inference and putting these pieces together, you're making, you're gaining a better understanding of the text, of the characters, and the story. So we're going to make some inferences when we define these two words for the week. So again, we have assigned the last two words on page one of the vocabulary sheet. You are going to use the context clues from the passage that the vocabulary word is in to infer what you think the word means and write it below. So the first word, the first passage. This was followed by a series of other cornball zingers involving eating it, biting it, and dive after five. So what does zingers mean? With those context clues in the passage and your background knowledge, what can you infer that zingers means? Write it in that box to the right of the passage. And then after you make an inference of the word, you are going to look up the word and provide a dictionary definition. Passage number two. Ty understood that he didn't know the kind of war he was simulating in the game. So using that context clues of the passage, plus your background knowledge, what can you infer simulating means? Write that to the, in the box to the right of the word, and then look up the word and provide a dictionary definition. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help at any time, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and enjoy Chapter 6.